from under there. Get out. Out. Good girl. Don't try and start messing with stuff. That was a weird name. I'm not even going to pay attention to that one. Um... I believe we talked to you. So we meet again. We meet here again. I've been hearing plenty about your impressive exploits. But of course, I was known you would impress us ever since you dealt with that alpha. Cricket tune for me. I've had my hands full as well. I have no idea why, but Munchlax keeps trying to run off in different directions. Munch! Munchlax, where are you off to now? I'm not sure what he's so focused on, but he just up and disappears without warning. Keeping track of him has been quite the task. Munch! Look at his smug face. What was that just now? I don't seem to be responding to Munchlax. Um, is display is reacting to Munchlax and displaying his destination. It's pointing to Ramana's Island. My my, isn't this exciting? I wonder if we're about to see another strange phenomenon sweep across Hisui. Or perhaps I'm reading too much into things. Could I ask you to visit Ramana's Island to try to shed some light on the new mystery? Of course. A new anomaly. Alright, so we're heading to Ramana's Island. I should probably start tracking these. Yep, Ramana's Island is indeed this way. So let's make our way over. nothing here. It's, yeah. That's Azorua. I know that sound. Yep, this is definitely a spot. But why, wait, why would there be Zoruas here? Yeah, there, there's Zoruas. Why are they here? Can I catch them? Almost looks like I could. Okay, wait, what do I need to do for Zorua? Catch, catch at night. Oh. Not night time. You know what? I'm going to sit here and wait until it's night and I'll be back. So I realized now it's morning. So we're just skipping them. And we're going to come back and talk to mine. I talk to mine, not Munchlax. Done with your investigations. Please tell me what you found. A mass outbreak of a Pokemon that shouldn't have even been here. That hardly tells me anything. What kind of Pokemon did you see then? They were Zorua. Hmm. A spiteful fox Zorua? Well, you came across a rare Pokemon. I've seen them in the Ice Lands before, but not here. So was that it, Munchlax? You were curious about Zoruwa? There's... One's a Zoruwa, isn't it? it? That's all I can think. It's the illusion ability coming in the play. Well, this is unexpected. Seems there are two Munchlax now. But naturally, I would never fail to recognize my own Munchlax. It's you, right? Not the Munchlax next to me. The other one. And you failed to recognize your own Munchlax. You've just betrayed his your trust, his trust in you. Look, okay, he's like, you really just did that to me. 
I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so it was Zarua. How odd for it to appear in the field lands. Munch. I hope that this ain't isn't an omen or something unpleasant yet to come. As a precaution, it might be best for you to report this to your captain. Report back to Silene. Okay, that one should take that long. Those Zorua probably couldn't even be shiny anyways. Alright, hey Silene, I got Bob. Uh, we got an issue. A major issue. Gather in Azorba in a place other than their natural habitat? Could it's also been caused by the space time rift? I suppose we don't know even enough yet to say for certain. At any rate, thank you for the report. 30 Ultra Ball. Oh my god, we just got a bunch of stuff to make Ultra Balls. And 30 free ones. Munch! Black Slack, things are grow growing worse. After we parted, Munchlax reacted to several different locations. There was a mass outbreak at each of them. Oh, dear. Yep. Now I see why they're called massive mass outbreaks. Simultaneously in multiple locations? This must be somehow different from the mass outbreaks we know. Why don't we call this new phenomenon a massive mass outbreak? Your new orders are to investigate this massive mass outbreak. Understood. Sounds like I can count on you to keep investigating. Well, then I'll be waiting for you by the front gate. And we now have 300 Ultra Balls. I guess we just... I guess that quest is her and we accept it. To continue. Yep. I suppose I should tell you exactly what I witnessed first. Munchlax suddenly took off running into a rainstorm. I tried to stop him, lest he got wet. But then I saw those mass outbreaks appearing all over. Perhaps it was the massive mass outbreak that Munchlax was so curious about. Munch! <laughs> if that's the case, Munchlax might be able to help us investigate this phenomenon. I'll also work with you as I'm concerned about Munchlax. I guess we go now. I probably need to unplug my laptop so we don't have a lag while we're doing this. They say it's a rainstorm, yet it's not even raining. We haven't seen anything out of the ordinary yet, nor has Munchlax react to anything. Shall we just wait for a while to see whether something happens? Might as well. And now it's raining. It's raining, and it looks like it's going to get worse. Munch. You worried about the rainstorm, Munchlax? We still don't know what's causing these mysterious massive mass outbreaks. Uh, where should we look? Perhaps that fancy map of yours can show us something. Munch! Oh, and there we go. Yep. How convenient. That's a lot. Let's put those down. Okay, it looks like we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. Ooh. Hmm. Alright. I'll have to... We'll have to choose... Where we go then? A massive mass outbreak is a phenomenon in which many mass outbreaks occur at once. Mass outbreaks located are marked by question mark icons on the map, and you will know the Pokemon that can be found in there to see. These rare outbreaks will dissipate in time, so you need to hurry to investigate them. K. 
catch or defeat Pokemon in a mass outbreak before it dissipates to finish investigating that particular location. Sometimes additional Pokemon may appear immediately after you complete your investigation. Oh. So it can, like, upgrade. It seems you have some idea where to look for these outbreaks now. Why not check a f out of you? Seeing at least three ought to give us some idea of what is going on. Alright, let's get to it. Um, let's start here. What have we got? Anything really cool? There's a straight up crowbat. Alright, uh, I'm, I'm a bit of an offensive kind of person. So, we're going on the offense. Careful. Oh, the crowbat's out again. I don't need to kill. These are perfected. All of them, I believe. Oh dear, Crobat's putting up a fight, I see. All of them are. That's not good. We might have to start killing some. Okay, where'd the Crobat go? There it is. Is that the last one? Looks it. If he doesn't catch, we're killing him. A new horde? Uh oh. Oh, jeez, they're all alphas. Uh, I guess we gotta deal with them. Not good, not good, not good. We are in trouble now. Uh oh. Do I? Yeah, see, they're all perfected. I guess I'm killing them. This not gonna go on. I have not. Oh, I forgot to use a plate on Arceus. This is a mess. And they all out speed. Is there Crobats? What do you expect? Oh my god, they're level 82? My team is nowhere near on par with these. We just gotta keep trying. Alright, there goes one of them. There's, yep, there's its alpha move. Get a hundred turns each. And now they're all flapping simultaneously. Alright, Fion. You're up. I don't really know. Yeah, it gets two hyper beams off before I even get one. Uh Zen Headbutt. Alright, there goes another. Maybe 
Maybe Arcanine can do something. Rock slide. Good damage. That's about the same amount. Oh, this one has rest. Lovely. Um, if I hit this one, I probably should, because this one has hyper beam, so it's going to be doing more than the rest of one will. Alright, it's too drowsy, that's good. Rock slide it again. And there's probably going to be more, so I might want to hit up some rocks real quick. No, not rocks, this grass right here. Real quick. There is indeed more. Alright, I'm gonna bring out some feather balls. I hit the wrong one, but whatever. That somehow caught it. But... That one just took forever. Alright, they're gone. Okay, yeah. Two more. Uh, there's one next to a warp spot over here. Let's go to this one. I think I know where this location is. This is usually where the Scyther outbreaks appear, so maybe it's Cricketons. Something much easier to handle, at least. Not good at this. I am just wasting my those few great balls I have. Search for Cricketot. Where could it have gone? Are you serious? Right now. It's just gone. And it won't come back, probably. Unless it went further. No, because those are just Colby's. Did it come back? Hmm. the Cricketot. We gotta hit up a different one. I found it. I think. That might be it. That was indeed the last Cricketot. Alright, then we have one right up here. Spheels. Spiel yet because I need to catch fatties. Shoot, I need to beat a spiel too. Ah, Celio, spiel. Need to kill three of them. I get Celio. Well, we're killing him too. I missed. I missed again. More? There we go. Probably won't kill. Nope. Why would it? Uh, extra sense 
Nazarene. We'll just take it out. Another Celio up here. The rainstorm is about to clear up, meaning probably they're about to go away. So we're done here. Let's do some releasing. Sveal, Sveal, Sveal. Staravia, Celio. Uh, and the gold bats. We'll keep the unknowns. That's why the boxes are so full prop. Yep. It's, not, it's all the unknowns. This one, throw it there. Grab this one, but throw it here. Um, I, I'm looking for a box. I don't. I have stuff I don't really need in. It's probably this one. Oh, but the wee vial and the sneasel, those are rare. Is that my right shoe I used while doing its thing? I don't think it is. All right, we'll just release them all. Okay, it looks like I was able to keep the sneeze on we bought. All of them. Put all the unknowns into box one. Maybe I should try and find the other one. Oh, that letter D. There it is. There. A box of unknown. Oh, and then we will. I 
guess we'll grab something from here. The uh, Alola Ninetales. I don't really need anything with. Can go over there. And we are going to move our shine. These shinies. Over here. And these here. So now I can fill up box 29. Literally didn't need that stuff, but cool, I guess. Let's move on with the story of this. Thank you for your investigation of the obsidian field lands. Tunnel stone, iron chunks, and some smoke bombs. Did you learn anything about these mass and mass outbreaks? No, it's always pouring rain. What could that mean? Did Pokemon gather when there's especially heavy rain? Wonder whether Munchlax was reacting to the rainstorm or to the mass and mass outbreak itself. We'll try to investigate further, but how best to do so. We've had good luck around the Obsidian Field Lands, but it's only raised more questions. That frown doesn't shoot you at all. Oh. Why is she here? Uh, Mistress C Calibur, well, you see. Mass outbreaks that occur during rainstorms. I've never heard of such a thing. But of course, life is full of surprises. After all, it's not often that Pokemon from beyond our world appear in the Temple of Sinnoh either. Perhaps these Pokemon are reacting to the arrival of Mighty Palkia. Why don't we head back to Jubilee Village? A Retsu's shop may be a good place to visit. That goes off. Uh, place is awfully popular after all and where people gather information that's abound of course the hairdressers pretty good if anyone knows anything about mass mass outbreaks and maybe willing to share the details with us it's shadow then i wait for you at the hairdressers Alpha Crobats. Honestly, that would have been really handy for when doing the uh, Pokedex. Actually, that could still be handy if I could find a. Because the Golbats, they evolved into Crobats that were Alpha. If I could find a Stantler, that would easily get me Weird Ears. Same with Quillfish and Overquill. Been neat. Been neat. Oh, Blackstar, Mistress Calibur's waiting for you. Come on in. Ah, the old ladies are having a nice chat. I heard all about these massive mass outbreaks. I bet there's some sort of Pokemon festival. It's like what I heard from a customer who came here from Johto. Apparently on nights with a full moon, Clefairy get together and dance. It's basically a gathering of Pokemon that only happens when certain conditions are met. It sounds pretty similar to Mass and Mass Outbreaks, don't you think? So Mass and Mass Outbreaks could be a festival for Pokemon who enjoy the rainstorms. You might have a point. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. It seems to me you're still biting your tongue, Rezu. Have you heard anything else? Well, I did hear something weird from a Diamond Clan friend of mine. Go on. They said they saw a mass outbreak of Alphas in the Crimson Mire Land. But seriously, do Alphas ever gather in groups? My friend must have made a mistake. Oh no, they didn't. Alphas grouping together. If this is a part of a massive mass outbreak, it sounds dangerous. Yeah. Even the Lady of the Ridge be no match for a mass outbreak of alphas. It's natural to worry about the unknown. That's why Blackstar is investigating this for us. No, to put our concern to rest. You're right. Seems our next step is to investigate the Crimson Mine Land. Ooh. <laughs> you don't have to tell me about alphas. I already experienced big bat, scary bat. May I head to Crimson Mine Lands? You know it. That's just to go. <laughs> um, try 
trying to think. An Ursaring one would be pretty cool. It seems the massive mass outbreak has sprung up here in Crimson Mildlands too. Let's try to demonstrate if this phenomenon occurs here as it does in the Obsidian Fjord. Hey, oh, little people. No need to threat. Millie has arrived. Oh, no. Not Millie. What do you want? I heard rumors that you've been investigating massive mass outbreaks. Or some such. But I, Melly, have already solved the mystery. All that remains is to gather gather evidence. Wow. Not bad, Melly. The reason these Pokemon have been mysterious gathering in rainstorms is... Is... What are you going to say? To give praise to the great Melly natural... Oh, <laughs> I hate you, Melly. You're so full of yourself. Oh, jeez. Get your eyes back. Don't look so sour, you two. I realize it's a difficult truth to accept right away. But I, oh, the online spider has both sun and shadow to Adam and is clearly apparent to Pokemon. And as thanks for your adorable efforts in proving my theory true, I will give you these. Go on, take them. They're Agua berries. Quite a rarity here in Hisui, you know. Yeah, I've never seen these berries when I've been getting them. Berry that who fed the Pokemon restores HP by up to half its max. The wild Pokemon hates bitter flavors each one. It will briefly pause. It's for why these Pokemon gather during rainstorms. Well, that's surely to represent how it's simply... I'm simply overflowing with wonderful qualities. And with that nugget of wisdom, I shall be off. Get out of here, Melly. He was very shy and withdrawn as a child, until one day when he announced he was going to work hard to help Adaman. I was happy to see him grow more optimistic, but I fear he had made that to extremes. But Agua Berries, where could he have found them? Unch. Excuse me? Munchlax, did you just eat some of the agua berries? God of fu- He stole my berries! Jerk. Mitch Beach! Ow. Ah, my eyes. That hurts. What's that? It looks like your fancy map is responding to Munchlax again. We can see them. Hey, that Ursaring one I said about, but there's symbols now. Berries and stars. And it's only on Bonsai. Now the map not only shows outbreak locations, but the Pokemon there as well. What does this mean, Munchlax? Oh, massive mass outbreaks are. I'm going to give Aqua Base the best way to Okay, Pokemon icons with the sparkle mark the location of special ones, while those with berries indicate ones where you'll receive Agua Berries. Be sure to make the most of these to help out with your investigation. Okay, so berries and sparkles you want to go to. So if we keep feeding Munchlax Agua Berries, we'll be able to learn more about these outbreaks. Much like, what exactly is it you're trying to get us to understand? Whatever this all means, please investigate three massive mass outbreaks in the Crimson Mirelands so we can compare these outbreaks to those found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Alright, so we'll want to hit up the Bonsleys. There's literally a Spirit Tomb one. I would do that if I didn't need a shiny Spirit Tomb. There's a Cyndaquil one. And a Grottle. Set up the berry one first. I have 15 berries. Oh, this is gonna be annoying since they run. Oh my god. Yep, they're being nuisances. Oh boy. Stop. I will catch all of you. You're gone. at least to get five of these things caught. 
So far we got four, five. Can we profit? Still one? Where? Where's this Bonsley? Um There it is. Is there another one? No, there isn't. Okay. Then we'll pop down to this one. Starting to get the hang of this. It's like right up here. Three pseudo Udos. And the Bonsley's gone. Stopping anytime soon. New horde. What do we got? Oh, it's just just pseudo widows. So they don't always turn into alphas. Got lucky then. Or I can't. I don't know if that's lucky or unlucky. Really. Alpha's a crowbat? Like, come on. That's just a monster. gone so well let's hit up the uh Cyndaquil one which is odd because there's no Cyndaquil mass outbreaks those things only appear in space time distortions last I checked their fire, they get angry. If they don't, they just kind of they flee. Their fire doesn't get lit. Oh. Hi, Quilava. Go. I do need things for the Pokedex anyways. I don't think it's Cyndaquil though that I need. I think it's the rep. Well, I need a Koalaba. Alright, there's still a Cyndaquil somewhere. Where? Is that it? No, I see it. That's the uh, satchel. There you go. Hate head. It's not. It's one of those ones I have to do that to. Alright, now they're gone. Dang it. Um, no, we'll keep going. Go get this grottle. Okay, 
calm down. We're killing you guys now. They're being rude. Fire blast. the other grotto. Oh, here it is. I think this is the last one. No? There's another one? Here. Oh. What are you doing over here, buddy? Stopping anytime soon. Oh dear. I stay crouched. Seriously. Hi. Got one. Just one though. Yeah, I'm gonna come now. So, the star doesn't mean that they'll transform. I mean, the star means they'll transform, but apparently they can transform without the star as well. Handy to know. That's the last Torterra. Good. Um. Well, we don't really need anything else. I know I said the Earth Ring would be good, but. Nah. I got enough peat blocks and Earth Rings already to make an Earth Saluna army. So we'll just talk to mine and get this one done now. I hear you finished your investigations in the Crimson Mirelands. Well done! Here it is, here to help us. What happened twice, what happened thrice, or so to say. Massive mass outbreaks seem likely to occur in the Cobalt Coastlands and other areas as well. So I've been discussing the issue with Irida. Why don't we demonstrate to her what we've been ke what's been keeping us so busy? We can turn our investigation to the Cobalt Coastlands next. Ah, yes, sponge socks. I know what's been keeping you busy is eating. Don't worry, we'll get you berries. Ah, I disconnected. That's nice. I wonder why this is happening. Oh, well. But I still wonder what lies behind munch a strange reaction to eating agua berries. How does he know which Pokemon I gather and where during a massive mass outbreak? got superpowers. That's all I can say. Perhaps. Hopefully our investigation will shed some light on this mystery. Well, let me offer you a hand. I've learned some things about massive mass outbreaks myself. I knew the leader of the Pearl Clan. I knew the leader of the Pearl Clan could help us. Mysterious going on in vast Hisui pike pique my interest, after all. I'm gonna keep disconnecting and reconnecting. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna stop the stream and have to restart it. Got some time and trouble. And on top of that, we're friends. Now I come. I'll always come if you ask for help. Friends? We'd seen each other around before, but after t talking more at the Harmony Festival, we found we agreed on a lot of things. Such as how exactly we think Adamant is doing as a leader. 
Now we decide we help each other out despite being from different clans. Anyway, that's how I got involved with the investigation in the coastlands. I heard from Iskan and Lena, they both seen something that was like a mass outbreak. But stranger. Stranger. How so? What are your thoughts on these massive mass outbreaks, Yurida? Well, I wonder what about them causes Pokemon to flock together this way. Perhaps there's been some shift in space because of Mighty Palkia's appearance. I'd certainly be glad to have more Pokemon around that would help Hisui flourish. But it's too early to conclude it's all for the best, or just strong Pokemon could be dangerous. I'd be sure to warn Lena to be careful too. I'll head to Jubilee Village once I wrap up a few things here. We can meet at the front gates when it's time to set out on our next investigation. Apricorn, th they're literally just giving me free Ultra Balls at least, so I guess that's something to look forward to. Yeah, I caught some good stuff. Most of which are going to get released, Professor. But that did get another task done on Quilava. And Torterra. Oh, I still need to catch a Torterra. Quilava's perfected now. Yep, we'll return to the village.